Today I want to do a follow-up episode based on some questions I got from some viewers. First, they asked specifically what type of car do I drive, and second, how did I go about picking it? So this is a 2001 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS. It's a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine, all-wheel drive, it's got 160,000 miles on it, and it's basically a stock drivetrain. Uh, when I bought it, it came with an exhaust system and a cold air intake, which I left on. And that's all that's done to the motor. Uh, throughout the first season of racing, I added limited slip differentials front and rear, just to get a little bit better traction. And other than that, it's basically a stock car. Uh, I, of course, did the uh, rally wheels and tires and some rally suspension, which is pretty much a necessity in rally once you get into the higher speed stuff. And other than that, like I said, it's stock and it's been a great car for me. It's been very competitive here locally and I'm having a great time in it. So how did I go about choosing this? So when I first moved to Colorado, uh, it was snowing. I'd always driven trucks, but now I had a long commute and I decided to try out the car thing and needed something that was good in the snow. Saw Subarus everywhere and thought I'd give it a try. And so I bought a cheap beater uh, I was rusting in the rear and uh, just thought I'd try it out. And I loved it. I love driving the car. You get it out in the snow, you're throwing it sideways in the turns, getting out there. It's, it was a great time. Love driving it. Then at work a few years later, I met some friends that were into Rallycross and Rally, and they happened to also have these older Subarus, and they said they were great at Rally. So of course then, I'm driving in the snow, now I think I'm a rally driver, right? <laughs> but it wasn't until several years later that I actually went out and started going to events. And in that time, I owned several Subarus. I even owned a newer WRX with a turbo engine. And I eventually came back to these naturally aspirated engines. I just really enjoyed them. The power delivery was smoother. Uh, the cars were lighter, they were cheaper. It, it just seemed like a, a good fit for me, these old Subarus. So ended out with this car as a daily driver. And this is when I started actually going to the races, started riding with people, and then eventually started driving in their cars, drove some of these older Subarus. They drove really easily. They were very drivable. It was natural. Didn't have to do anything funky to get them to drive good in the dirt. And so it just fit me very well. Then started going to some of the bigger races and I saw these Subarus everywhere. They're in every class. They're competitive in every class. Uh, anything from stock all the way up to open class cars with turbo engines that have been transplanted. And there's tons of them, which is something to consider. When you go to the races, if you break something and you don't happen to have the part or the tool or the knowledge to fix it. If there's eight other or 20 others of the same car, somebody's probably got the right part or tool or knowledge. And so I felt pretty comfortable being relatively new to racing that there'd be someone out there that could help me. So then I just had to pick what class I wanted to run in. And I decided on the open lights class and open lights means that it has to be 2.6 liter or less, naturally aspirated, and all-wheel drive. And other than that, there's not a lot of rules. It's pretty open to what you want to do to the car, which for me is awesome because I get to do all these cool projects, modify things, and it's just really neat. I enjoy the projects, even if they maybe don't do all that much for my overall speed, um, but it's fun and it makes you feel like you're working toward getting a faster car, and you are, even if it's only a tiny little bit at a time. So that's what I built this car to, and uh, like I said, first season out has been uh, very competitive. I've enjoyed it, I've done well at the local races, and next year I'm really looking forward to going out and doing some bigger races. So uh, hopefully this answered your questions. If you've got any more, keep them coming and I'll see you at the races.